we're gonna do one more problem so uh iodine 131 is used to destroy thyroid tissue in a treatment of an overactive thyroid the half-life of iodine 131 is eight days if a hospital receives a shipment of 200 grams of iodine 131 how much one i131 would remain after one month which is 30 days so iodine 131 is used to destroy thyroid tissue in a treatment of no, no, no. Uh, Half-life of iodine-131 is 8 days. So what we need to do first is find the rate. So the rate is using our formula for continuous uh, compounding. So basically what you would have to do is 0 0.5 is our product because 0 0.5 and 1 would be what we start. We started with 1 and our half-life is 0 0.5. So that's what we're trying to find. And E we're using because it's continuous compounding for half-life. And we know that time is eight days, but we're trying to find that rate because it's pert, and we know eight days is that. So if we can find this rate, do not round this. This rate number right here, we can answer the rest of this question. So basically, what we do is simple. 1.5 divided by one would be 0.5 still. So now we just have, and then uh, E here to take that out, we do natural log natural log takes that out so now we have natural log we need to do natural log on this side as well natural log 0 0.5 equals r or 8r you could say divide the 8 divide the 8 now we have line 0 0.5 over 8 equals r right here this right here will tell us the rate now we just put that into our calculator here so now natural log you have on the calculator and you just put that in. So this is the number you should get right here. Do not round this, keep this in your calculator so you can do the rest of the question. So now you know that, just keep that in your calculator if you want. You could just write it out here, the whole thing, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to put a 6 and dot to show that the rest. Now we're going to put the whole question. So uh, the half-life is 8. If the hospital receives a shipment of 200, so 200 grams is your initial amount, uh, how much would be remain is your, you're trying to find that out. After one month, so our time period is one month, so E goes here one month, we have 30 days, and we have our rate. I just put an arrow there showing that. Now what you're going to put into the calculator is, so first you want to focus on this E part 30 R here. So focus on this, put that in your calculator. So we already have this number right here. So based on the equation we have right here, we just go second E. That's what you have right here. So what you put in is 30 times go up. Just enter that and it comes in right here. Boom. That's your answer for this right here. Now we just need to multiply that by 200. So multiply 200. Boom. That's your answer. Just put it all into your calculator and easy solve. And even if you're doing the SAT, you'll be given a calculator probably for these kind of questions. So now you've already got your A equals 14.865, right here, rounding to thousandths. And obviously, uh, you have to put your units, it's grams, because they showed grams right here, so that's what's going to be left over. Grams remaining. This number right here is your answer. Now I want to say that for one of the questions I have made a mistake and because I made that mistake I made one error and I forgot putting a zero into it so that's what made a mistake there but I will uh, tell you the complete answer and come back to you. So hopefully you enjoy. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.